Thank you, guys. Thank you, worship team. It is so fun to see the Lord moving in our midst and growing this church family and, and a people of worship and this team of worship. So, okay, another thing, while we are uh, transitioning with kids, adults, we have a, a, a little surprise for you today. We have donuts, muffins, and coffee. And so as we jump into our equipping this morning, feel free, why don't you guys get up and you can go get a refreshment, a donut, a muffin, a coffee, and then come back to your table, and um, we are going to jump into the scriptures this morning with one another. For those of you online, we just want to tell you we love you, we're grateful for you, and we're looking forward to this time of equipping as Table Church, and so um, there will be a little bit of a pause here as we're getting some things going and and, uh, fellowshipping a little bit, and then we'll jump in in a in about three to five minutes. So go ahead and get up, grab some tea, coffee, a snack if you'd like, and then we'll come back to our tables. So grab your coffee, your muffin. So just, just so we make sure we, we uh, utilize the time well, um, I'm going to give a quick framing. And, and for those online, we want to welcome you and tell you we love you and encourage you to participate in Table Church today. So um, the elder team we've, uh, has been talking a lot and, um, about the importance of um, true fellowship, okay? And this is something we feel very passionate about, that the gospel is good news vertically, where we're adopted as sons and daughters with our Father in heaven. But how many know the vertical good news of the gospel is also a horizontal good news and expression? Right? So what we gain in the Lord vertically, we also gain in one another because of Jesus horizontally. And so the good news of the gospel is a vertical encounter with the Lord Um, Jesus by the Holy Spirit, but it's also a horizontal encounter with one another and the scriptures. Does that make sense? So everybody put your hand on on your heart. Put your hand on your heart. Now tap your heart. A little harder. There you go. All right, you're alive. Now say this with me. The word became flesh. Say it again. The word became flesh. All right, for God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his son Jesus. The word of God became flesh. Right? Jesus fulfilled all the scriptures. He did it all. All 613 commands, all prophecies, he fulfilled all. The word of God became flesh. Now, did the word of God stop becoming flesh? No, because we are now the body of Christ. We're the hands and feet of Jesus. So we take the word, the scriptures, empowered by the Holy Spirit, fulfilled by Jesus, and we apply them to our lives, right? So the word is still becoming flesh. So we are a people of the word of God. We're a people of the scriptures. We let the light of the scriptures um, help us grow and expand in our identities in, in Christ, our authority in Christ, our destinies in Christ. We're a people led by the scriptures. And so our bodies and our souls are led by the word of God. They're still becoming flesh. Okay? And so that's what we're going to do this morning. Um, we're going to uh, 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 practice the Word of God. So we can go ahead and uh, go to the next slide. That, but this is what table church is. It's, it's more than just sitting and listening to somebody preach the Word of God, which is good. We need to hear that. We need to hear the preaching of the Scriptures. But we also need to be wrestling with the Scriptures and, and seeing how they apply in our lives and learning from one another. Iron, ironing, sharpening iron as one sharpens another. So that's what we're going to do this morning. Um, so go to, the, go to the next slide. I gave my uh, piece of paper away. So first thing we're going to do is just quick. Um, we want everybody to go around. We're going to take one to two minutes. And I want everybody to just share your name. And we're going to do a little icebreaker. So if your life was a movie this week, what would it be? All right? 
And, and it's kind of funny. So, and we're going to have to be quick. And so we're also practicing staying on point and sharing what we're sharing, not get distracted. So go around. If you don't know somebody, we need to know one another's names. Share your name. And if your life was a movie, what would it be? One to two minutes. So go ahead and go. Okay, seeing tons of laughter and joy in the room. It's beautiful. So we are going to move on to our next section because um, just to keep the, uh, the flow going. Um, you can go ahead and go to the next slide. We were going to do a gratitude and an appreciation, but I feel like with the time frame we have, um, and people have been kind of automatically already doing that, we're going to skip that. Um, but... Uh, for those that want to, um, as we're going to this, think of something you're grateful for or you appreciate for. The scripture says, enter into my gates with thanksgiving and my courts with praise. And the reason why we practice this as a church family, we always go back to gratitude and appreciation because it's a form of praise and worship. And it's a form of testimony where you're remembering what the Lord has done. And so I've seen a lot of joy, a lot of gratitude, a lot of appreciation right now. So we're going to just skip that and we're going to go to the meat right now because of time. So, so I want everybody to take a deep breath. And I'm going to read this scripture out loud. And we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts. This is going to be our text this morning. Um, we're going to just ask the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart um, around these scriptures. And then we're going we're to talk about these. Um, so... Ready? Ephesians 2, verses 1 through 7. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world, of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in our transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. In order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Jesus. I want everybody to pause and just listen for the Holy Spirit in these scriptures. What what comes out, what, what jumps out to you in these? So I'm going to read this one more time. We're going to just let, we're practicing hearing the Holy Spirit through the scriptures. So I'm going to read this once more and I just want you to listen and let the Holy Spirit emphasize things to you. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air. The spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Verse 3. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. Be but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. In order that in the coming ages he might show 
the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Jesus Christ. Okay. So what we're going to do now at our tables, we're going to go around and we're going to share what do you sense the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit speaking to you through these passages? Okay, what do you, what do you feel the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit speaking to you? And it doesn't need to be long. You can just share it. And then the next question is, give one short story or example of how you've experienced the incomparable riches of grace in your life. And then, um, tagged with that, what is a current situation or situation you need the incomparable riches of Christ's grace in your life. And would you like prayer for that in the group? Does that make sense? So those are the three questions we're going to go around. We're going to share. You can share. You don't have to share. Don't feel pressure. But those are going to be the three questions that we're going to go. And if you're online, we encourage you to share with people you're watching with. Or um, you can uh, journal these and interact with the Lord on these. So let's go ahead. And share. We're going to do this for uh, 20 minutes. Go ahead. I just want to encourage everybody. We have about nine more minutes. So keep sharing. Keep sharing, you know, how you've experienced the incomparable riches of grace in your life. And then an area of life where you need the riches of Christ's grace to come into life. And feel free at your tables to pray for one another and um, just stand with one another and reach in to um, the unseen realm, the heavenly realm, the kingdom realm, and pull in the riches of Jesus in an area where there, there's a void right now um, with one another. So let's make sure um, we're at least praying for one another, a few people for one another, ministering one another, being the body of Christ. And so just want to encourage, keep tables, keep sharing, keep going. And then if it is 1130, you got to go. Please feel free to just tell your table, hey, I got to go. Um, there's no, uh, no, no, no pressure there. Uh, um, we just, yeah, we don't want any pressure or shame there or something like that. So keep, I'm seeing a lot of good sharing. Keep it going. Let's make sure we get to the prayer time as well, praying for one another and uh, um, do that. So got about nine more minutes. All right, once again, keep sharing. Feel free to share, stay, pray for one another, be the body. Um, the Lord wants you to know that you're seen. He likes you. He loves you. You're heard. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day. We love you guys online. We love you. We pray you're blessed by these questions. And... Um, we just speak blessing. Let's keep praying for one another and feel free to dismiss when you want.